And welcome back. Dan Friedman and David Korn wrote a piece about, uh, about Jim Jordan for Mother Jones magazine. Uh, and, they just, and every single one of these things has a hot link in it, right, to, to the actual story. Uh, they write, Jordan was an enthusiastic and early recruit in Trump's war on our republic and his war on reality in both public and in private. Days after the November election, he spoke at a Stop the Steal rally in front of the Pennsylvania State Capitol. Pennsylvania? Yeah, the, you know, they were trying to, remember they were trying to flip Pennsylvania as well? They tried to flip uh, uh, Georgia. I mean, that, that's probably the most famous because, you know, they recorded that phone call where Trump made the call. But they tried to flip Pennsylvania. They tried to flip Arizona. They tried to flip Wisconsin. I mean, this, the, the, these were all these states where they had the fake electors. This is, this is, so anyhow, he went to, uh, Jim Jordan went to Pennsylvania to do that, uh, back to the article. He spread election conspiracy theories within right-wing media. He endorsed Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell's bogus claims that Dominion Voting Systems and Smartmatic had robbed Trump of electoral victory. You wonder if, if uh, they may go after him. I, I guess the speech and debate clause prevents them from suing him the way that they sued um, Fox News. I don't know. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not certain that all those chickens have come home to roost yet. Uh, back to the article. He called for a congressional investigation of electoral fraud for which there was no evidence and demanded a special counsel be appointed to look into election fraud. You know, election fraud is the grand excuse that Republicans use to pass laws to make it harder to vote. Now, why do Republicans want to make it harder to vote and Democrats want everybody to vote? Because Republicans know that, as Paul Weyrich famously said in 1980 in the basement of a church in, in, um, in Dallas, Texas, during the, Ron, the campaign, uh, Ronald Reagan's campaign for president, Paul Weyrich was one of his front men. He is also the co-founder of the Heritage Foundation. He said, I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by the majority of the people. They never have been and they never will be. In fact, quite candidly, our, our leverage in the election goes up as the voting populace goes down. That's a verbatim quote. I'm pretty sure I got every word right. And, you know, so there you go. That's the co-founder of the Heritage Foundation saying we want to suppress the vote. And this is over 300 pieces of legislation in the last year have been passed in, in mostly red states, making it harder to vote. In fact, I think it, in pretty much exclusively red states, maybe a few purple states that have uh, you know, enough red state, uh, enough Republicans to, to force through these kind of things. Back to the article. Uh, this is uh, David Korn's piece in Mother Jones. He endorsed state legislators canceling vote tallies and selecting their own presidential electors. That's a crime in and of itself. I mean, that's what John Eastman might go to prison for. That's, that's what, you know, advocating that is one of the charges, uh, you know, uh, actually one of many charges against multiple people here, uh, the, you know, uh, saying that the, the, I, this is the, the, the whole fake elector thing. You've got, what, something like 20 of these fake electors. Most of them, you know, nobody has chosen to prosecute them, but there's a bunch of them that are looking at being prosecuted. Back to the article, he urged Trump not to concede. He demanded Congress not certify Joe Biden's victory in the ceremony scheduled for January 6th, 2021. Jim Jordan, toxic. Now, <clears throat> there's a possibility there's gonna be a fight against this. So I'll tell you all about that right after this, stay tuned. Missed my opening rant today? It's usually published over at HartmanReport.com where you can read it and share it with your friends for free. Check it out, HartmanReport.com.